Hello again, Shima girls. I pray you ladies are doing excellent as always. Well, I want to talk about protective styling, ladies, because I really, really need you ladies to stay focused on your protective styles. And also, I'm going to tell you why protective styling is so important, you know, to your Shima hair growth journey. Protective styles, ladies, is extremely instrumental in helping us to maximize our hair growth results as well as maintaining our hair as healthy as possible. All right, so protective styling again is very essential, it's an essential part of your Shima hair growth journey. If you really, 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 really want your hair to grow long, please listen up. Protective styling needs to be a part of your hair growth regimen, ladies okay so i'm here to keep you motivated with your protective styles in case you've been you know maybe you've given up or you know people are giving you a hard time with your protective styles i'm here to keep you motivated as well because i know it's kind of hard to you know keep your hair tucked in especially if you're used to having it out all the time or you know you you like showing off you know your hair to when you're around your friends or when you go out you like showing off your hair but if you want your hair to grow past shoulder length it is very important very very important that you stay consistent with your protective styling ladies okay so this means as soon as you finish shima oiling your hair create your favorite protective style whether it be the shima hair bun whether it be a french braid individual braid two strand twist anything that's going to keep those ends tucked in for a prolonged period of time meaning anywhere from one week to two weeks minimum it's going to be your protective style okay now with that said let's get into the haters because i know that like i said at the beginning that maybe some of you ladies have wanted to give up because you have you know people that that are putting you down you know the haters the haters are gonna be there so listen up forget the haters forget those haters shima girls anybody that who may be picking on you and telling you ignorant stuff like oh why don't you quote unquote do your hair you know they say stuff like that you know because to them the only way the hair is done is if it's out loose and getting dry all right that that part they don't understand and and it's even worse when you try to make them understand that you know the reason why you're using protective styles is because it's essential to your hair growth and they still don't want to listen you know with that said just kick those people to the curb all right even if they're your quote-unquote friends kick them to the curb ladies because a true friend listen up a true friend will lift you up a true friend will encourage you instead of putting you down all right they're not gonna say oh that's ugly you know why you got your hair like that you know who cares if it you know grows with a protective style it, it, it looks ugly it looks like like you're gonna get married you know it, it could be anything they're gonna say okay but with that said what you know when you if you remain consistent with your protective style and then you, they see that your hair is growing long those same people that have been picking on you they're gonna ask how did you make your hair grow so long? You know, quote unquote, how did you make your hair grow so long? Again, they don't understand that our hair is already growing. And our goal with the protective style is to preserve our hair growth. Okay. So, you know, so again, if you've got those kind of haters, kick them to the curb. Kick them to the curb because they will take your dreams away, ladies. Okay. And, you know, with that said, at the beginning when you're doing your protective style, you know, keeping your hair tucked in, you know, for the majority of the time, of course, it's, 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 it's going to feel like a sacrifice. But this quote-unquote sacrifice is going to become your reward when you remove the protective styles after those two weeks are over or after... Your full shima, you know, hair hair growth journey is over, and and your hair went from ear length to armpit length, or it went from shoulder length to you know bra strap length or mid back length. That is your reward for remaining consistent with your protective styles, shima girls. Okay, the joy in your heart is going to be exhilarating, especially ladies, especially, and you know that this is true. If you've been told all your life that your hair can't quote unquote grow 
because you don't have that quote unquote good hair. So when you see your hair that long, it, it is it, it is such a triumph that it's hard to put into exact words. Okay, it's just gonna it's, it's a feeling unlike no other. All right, when you see from your own body that your hair is growing, it's actually growing longer than that stereotypical shoulder length. Okay, I'm always on top of that stereotypical shoulder length because you ladies, all of our lives, that's what we have been told, that's what we have been conditioned to believe that our hair cannot grow longer than shoulder length. All right, and that needs to stop. That needs to stop because that is that's all it is. It's a stereotype, okay? It's a stereotype that society has chosen for us, okay? Listen to, to that particular word. They chose it for us, okay? It's a stereotype, okay? So with that said, as long as we continue to believe that our hair can grow past shoulder length, then we give this stereotype the power to remain alive, all right? So, for example, when we refuse to do our protective styles, we give that shoulder length stereotype power. When we refuse to moisturize, okay, keep our hair moisturized on a daily basis, keep your hair shima oiled, we're giving that shoulder length stereotype power. When we refuse to, to, to practice gentle handling, you know, be gentle with our hair, when we're combing it, when we're styling it, and we're breaking our hair all over the place, we're giving that shoulder length stereotype power. And lastly, when we wear nothing but weaves, wigs, extensions, you know, fake hair, 365 days a year, again, we're giving that, <laughs> that shoulder length stereotype power, ladies. So let's change that. Let's change that negative stereotype that our hair can grow longer than shoulder length, all right? Let's change it once and for all and empower ourselves by continuing to do our protective styles, by continuing, you know, continuing to do our moisturizing, you know, shima oiling our hair the way we're supposed to be doing, by continuing to practice our gentle handling, okay? And let's begin to wear and show off our real Afrotection hair, okay? Our real Afro texture here that has grown past shoulder length because we stay consistent with protective styling, moisturizing, gentle handling, and we show the world that our real hair can grow past shoulder length. Okay? Whether it's relaxed or natural, our real hair, the one that God gave us, can grow past shoulder length. And I need you ladies to believe it. Okay? Believe it. Believe in yourself that you can do it. Okay? There's, there's nothing different about you. We're, we're all human beings here, and our hair grows. We can do it, Shima girls, and we have done it, okay? I'm going to show you these beautiful and dedicated Shima girls who have done it, who wear their beautiful protective styles, who were dedicated with their moisturizing, their gentle handling, and who have shattered every ignorant myth about our hair.